On a day when it honestly feels like it could snow at any time, Cobb DOT crews mounted up and hit the road for their annual inclement weather exercise, preparing for that fateful day when it does snow in Cobb County. It all started with a safety briefing, a summary of the routes they'll travel, and of course some pre-game stretching exercises. Thanks to this year's budget, Road Maintenance Director Bill Shelton finally has the manpower he needs. For the first time I can ever remember in 12 years, we've got more people than we have equipment. We have 88 people on staff in road maintenance, and we have some backups now that we aren't uh, used to having. So the Board of Commissioners approved us hiring some right-of-way crews, and we can use those right-of-way crews to help us treat roads and operate equipment. So this, that's a good luxury to have. When the weather hits, the DOT crews will treat and clear 800 of the 2,400 miles of Cobb roads the more heavily traveled roadways across the county, including state roads. This exercise will help get crews familiar with the routes they will cover. We depend on them to tell us if the route needs tweaking, we need to change the route, we need to be safer. So when we do a debrief this afternoon about four o'clock, we take their feedback and we make the changes to the routes. This inclement weather exercise is happening earlier this year than in years past because they learned their lesson in 2017. Last year we had training set up for mid-December, which generally we do it before Christmas, but as you know, everybody remembers December 11th last year, we had a little snow, uh, up to a foot of snow in Cobb, and we didn't have the luxury of training last year, so we had the real exercise, and it, it, does, it does help to do training, but we were able to respond quickly and, and efficiently last year during the snow. So we're well equipped, uh, we're well staffed, and we're looking forward to uh, being able to handle anything that Mother Nature presents. And unlike last year, this year they did get their inclement weather exercise in and completed before the first snowflake fell in Cobb County.